Hello violinists, welcome to Brahms Strings. I'm Henriette and this is lesson 58 in the violin class for beginner schools. In this lesson today we are playing exercise 85 on page 36 and that is in the red book. This exercise does not appear in the green book but as usual I'll put a link uh, which has the music for you in the description below this video. And I wanted to include this lesson today because this has a certain a way of writing repeated notes uh, that you sometimes come across in orchestra parts. So some of you may already have started playing in orchestras and you may already have come across this, but I thought I'm just going to include this because um, it is a bit confusing and you just have to know what it means uh, and then it's very easy to play. So let me play this exercise for you and then we'll talk about it. actually are written out completely so you see that the first note gets repeated four times and then each of the notes um, get played twice so two by two and then as you go into this third bar here you can see there is a B which has a little line to indicate that these are meant to be played as quavers as eight notes B just like you've played them here really so it's two B's and another two B's and then two A sharps and two G sharps so that is the pattern you play every note twice and that makes it much easier to read than if you had a whole piece full of quavers like that you see and that is the whole line of thinking behind this notation is that it makes it easier for you to read so each note comes twice and you play all of this as quavers except for the last note that's just a normal minim there or a half note and that's all there is to it so it's fairly straightforward but you just have to know this <laughs> otherwise it looks very confusing doesn't it now it, you may al already also have noticed that this piece now has got five sharps uh, an f sharp a c sharp a g sharp a d sharp and an a sharp f c g d and A sharps, five sharps, which means that we're going to add some raised third fingers to what we already know from the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we were playing three sharps, you may remember, and we raised the third fingers on the G and D strings. Now in this piece, we add two sharps, the D sharp and the A sharp, and we're also raising the third fingers on the A string and on the E string. So you've got raised second fingers, they're all wide apart everywhere but also raised third fingers on wherever you come across them and in this case it's just on the A string and on the E string. So that means that my third fingers are going to go a space away from the second fingers right here on the A string and the same thing happens on the E string too and your fourth finger comes right next to it because this is a raised third finger on the E string, A sharp isn't that note is called and your B comes right next to it. Shall we play it together? Now let's go slightly more slowly and I would like you to play short bow strokes in the middle of your bow. One and two and three and four and
very well done if you've kept that going i'm well well pleased with that so super good progress and you learn something new again here so a different notation for writing repeated quavers or for writing repeated eighth notes thank you very much for watching today and for playing along if you have any questions or comments please use the comments section below this video and i very much look forward to seeing you again soon goodbye